Hello everybody, it's Brad here today and welcome back to City Scars. I hope you're all doing okay. There is some lunatic out there on a Thursday morning smashing the absolute crap out of something with a hammer. So apologies if you can um, hear that person. Anyway guys, welcome. Welcome back to City Skylines. Welcome to episode 4 of us building a UK town in City Skylines. Welcome back to Darrington. So in this episode today we are going to be focusing on a couple of bits. Now the first one is this one right here. So we have popped in a secondary school. So obviously a UK town must have somewhere for those cranky teenagers to go and learn all about different stuff. So we've put in a secondary school and then we're just spending a little bit of time detailing around it. You know like some zebra crossing, some slow signs, working on like where the bus stop is, a nice big parking lot. Um, and then most secondary schools here in the UK have like a recreation ground, you know, so there's somewhere where you can play football, where you can play other sports like basketball, tennis, all that kind of jazz. Um, so we'll work on the parking lot and then we spend a little bit of time working out what kind of sports things we want to have around the secondary school. Um, I actually do have to quickly log out of the game and then come back in to find some decent tennis stuff. Um, so we put in like a, so it's like a football astroturf, work a little bit on that, getting like a nice fence around it, some floodlights, do a little bike shelter, and then I'll quickly pop out, get some nice tennis assets, and we actually also do a playground back here, um, like a little small playing field with like a makeshift football field, much smaller. Um, we actually have like some benches, some bins, and some table tennis tables. So it would be quite fun out here. So we're going to spend a little bit of time doing that and then we're going to move on to building another like focus piece like, like i kind of think of them um which is a church so again a nice little town church and again working on like a little parking lot working on a cemetery around a church and then we'll just be working on a few houses in and around that church so um it's not the longest episode in the world today Apologies about that. I know people like longer episodes, but it's not always achievable um, with kind of work and just general human life happening around doing YouTube. Um, in the next episode, I was thinking maybe working on around the church with doing some more like countryside villages. So maybe we can get some of those Rick 4000 like country home assets there, really nice. Working on some allotments maybe maybe some small farms, that kind of stuff. So let me know what you want to see in the next episode. Um, I can always do a vote or something if people want to do that. You know, we can maybe work on a countryside farm area or we could actually start building or at least planning um, another like town, you know, kind of large town, small village, whatever you want to call it, across from the motorway. You can actually see the motorway there in the left-hand portion of the screen. And what we've done is, um, between episodes, is I just kind of started planning out the railway and the road infrastructure just to get over to that area but that is something that we could do in the next episode. I'm going to leave you to some music, lovely people and I'll be talking to you very shortly. I hope you enjoy the time lapse.
Hello everybody, so we're about to start putting in our church. Now we're using the UK church that was made by Rick 4000 and it is such a cool asset guys, it's so cool. Really really easy to download on the workshop, just you know search for Rick 4000 and you'll find it. Uh, we're just going to start here by putting in the parking lot, the car park, whatever you wish to call it. Um, just a cheeky little disabled bay, just a little cheeky one. And then we pop the church right next to it. This is such a cool asset. I think it's one of my favourite assets. Um, I'm not a church going person, I'm not going to lie. I'll be, you know, I'm quite honest in that. Um, I'm not a church going person, but it is such a cool asset. I just think it looks really cool. You know, I think you would really struggle um, to find many places in the UK that haven't got like a local church. So, you know, it's, it's a real kind of focus point of a small town is, you know, where is its church? And then we use a little stone wall around it with some really nice little old stone porchway entrances that look really cool. So what we're going to do is we're building up like the church yard with a stone wall. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill that yard with trees, bushes and of course gravestones. Um, so a little mud path just around there. And then we'll start filling this up with nice trees, nice bushes and then getting lots and lots of gravestones gravestones if I can speak properly out and around and this takes a while um, I just use lots of different ones you know they all come in this kind of like church pack um, really really easy you can just get them all out exactly where you want to and it looks really realistic if you're um, you know clever with how you place your trees and bushes around I do think it ends up looking pretty realistic there's not too much more to say about this just a little bit of time is spending doing this um, churchyard graveyard so I'll leave you to it guys, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this church and the churchyard and I'll speak to you again shortly later on in the episode.
Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what you think of the church. I really hope you enjoy it. Now, we're just going to spend the remainder of the episode kind of tidying up this area, making it look as nice as we can, popping in some more residential buildings, of course, because we've always got high residential demand here in Darrington. Hopefully that means that people enjoy living here and they're telling all their friends about it. So yeah, just going to spend a little bit of time here popping in some more residential, some different roads, you know, roads of parking, some roads without parking. Um, on the other side of the road here, to the right, I was going to put a park in. Now, I actually started to build it, but it looked really bad, or I thought it looked really bad. There's actually a pub there at the moment, as you just saw. Um, yeah, I didn't like the park, and I don't like these gates either. I actually removed these gates later on. Um, so... Let me know what you think of the other side of the road here, where that pub is, so in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I could maybe try doing a park again, this hill is a bit tricky, you can see there on the terrace houses on the other side of the road as well. This hill is quite tricky, I don't want to make everywhere really flat. If I just make everywhere really flat, it's kind of like no challenge and the UK is not like that. So I'm really, I am really trying my hardest. Get better at building on slopes and hills um, I'm not finding it easy I'll be honest I uh, don't find it um, too simple so you know I hope to get better but let me know what you think oh, I didn't mind this pub it's just hard to make it look realistic you know and I, I the only other thing I did think about is I could possibly use procedural objects um, and do it that way so I think I'll be able to get like a bit of a tilt in a building, won't I, if I use procedural objects. So that's my only other idea. If you think that's a good idea, let me know and um, I can try that. I can, you know, just make sure. I haven't used PO in a long time, actually. I have got it installed, but I haven't used procedural objects in quite a while. So um, that could be a good way of doing it, actually. Um, it's just to use that instead. So it's behind these houses here. It's got lots of green space. Not quite sure what to do with it just yet. But maybe we can do some buildings, some like, you know, pubs and stuff, maybe going up the hill and actually tilting them along the uh, angle of the hill. That might be a good idea. So we, we, uh, we just saw then, I was about to put a path in, that was the start of the park. So here, what we're gonna do is just gonna build out a little court area. So this is quite, quite a common thing in the UK, is these kind of like um, blocks of flats, not too high, like not like high rise flats. What would you get in these? You get in what? Probably two flats either side, so four on a floor. So you're talking about roughly like 12 flats um, in one of these buildings. And then they commonly come with a car park and then some kind of like garden space in the back. The garden space, now I've actually lived in one of these buildings um, and the garden space is quite strange. Like I think it's very British for no one to think they can use it. Um, you're always worried that other, someone else will want to use it. Um, but they're commonly used for like you know like hanging out your washing, a few benches, something like that. But very very common here in UK towns to have these kind of small um, apartment buildings, uh, block of flats, whatever you wish to call it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the remainder of the episode. Again, apologies for it being not quite as long um, as the last one, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Remember to comment down below all of your feedback and suggestions, and I'll see you in the next episode.
Thank you very much for watching the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.